All right, quick video today. I've been wanting to uh, make a video about explaining the differences between a regular 1450 to, what is this called? TT30P. So these are two seemingly identical connectors, uh, you know, not physically, but electrically, but they're not electrically the same because this one is marketed for EV use only only for EV chargers. So what does that mean? All right, here we go. I just used the multimeter to check out the pins of all of these. And now this is what we're finding out. So this is a conversion from a 120 volt AC uh, plug into a 220 volt uh, 1450. Although the, the NEMA 1450 allows you to have full phase voltage which is 220 but also half phase or center tap which is uh 120 which is what most of the uh, american uh appliances uh use right 110 is what's at your house and all that. so we're only using half of the phase and this i think i don't know that no there's another twist lock i think that has the all pins this plug is one of the few plugs that has all the pins so you have the ground then you have the, the, the center, the neutral, and then you have the two hots. So when you are gonna connect this, you can get both voltages here. You can get half of the voltage or full phase voltage in here. And so now that you're going to try to convert from a 120 volt, well, you, you, can, you can get the 120 volt here but you can not get the 220 because that's double the voltage and you can unless without some conversion or some, you know, some, some way of manipulating the voltage, you're not gonna be able to get 220. And this is just a straight out, just a regular plug. So you're not gonna be able to get that. But then you have to decide how you're gonna put that uh, half voltage and how you're gonna distribute that into those pins. And that's where the differences are. The same thing on this one. So on the EV one, what they do is they get both the neutral and the hot, right? Because this one has a neutral and hot because it's only half the, the voltage, right, of the full phase. And they decide to put the neutral onto the one pin, right, one of the hot legs, and then the other one, the, the hot leg, into the hot leg. So then they just, they're uh, on this one right here, on the EV one, the center tap, which is the neutral, that is the neutral on the 1450 is just being ignored. There's, that's not connected to anything. So what that happens, what that does is that allows you to connect your EV charger in here. And then your EV charger will only see half the voltage of what you're expecting to see at a 1450 uh, connector level, right? But because it's a smart charger, uh, they can do level one and level two, so they can just, you know, charge at 120 volts or whatever that rate is. And this plug right here, it's overbuilt for 120 volts, right? Uh, you can do up to 30 amps. This one, this one um, is rated about 30 amps. This one right here is rated at 50 amps or 48 uh, continuous or whatever. So you'll be fine doing that. And that's why they, someone decided to build this or whoever this company is, Parkland, decided to build this thing. And so, so that's what that does. So if your device that wants a NEMA 1450, if you only want uh, 120 and, and at the hot legs, then you can use this. And, and that's the common use for the EVs. Now this one right here, it's the regular adapter that you can buy in Home Depot and all kinds of other places, right? It essentially is the same thing, except the wiring is a bit different. This guy's what they're saying is like, no, you probably want to use 120 on here because, well, that's all you can get anyways. So what they're doing, what they did is they took the hot leg and they split it into the two hot legs of the NEMA 1450. And then they got the neutral and they connected the neutral to the neutral, right? So in this case right here, uh, you will only be able to get one uh, 20 volt AC from going to the neutral to one of the hot legs and to the other neutral to the other hot legs. So if you're using the NEMA 1450 to power uh, 
like 120 volt circuits, right? Then that's fine. Like in an RV, for example, this this would work, right? Except that you only have, uh, well, you only have half the capacity of the full 220 phase, right? So it's only 30 amps, so 30 amps will be divided into those two. And so you only have 15 amps per circuit here. Uh, but that's gonna be way more useful for like an RV. Uh, if you plug a charger, an EV charger here, it will not work. Because one is gonna ignore the neutral, right? The EV chargers don't use the neutral, they just use the two hots because they're trying to look for 220. And so this one right here, it's going to just, it's, it's basically gonna short out the two main uh, pins. And nothing bad is gonna happen, it's just, you know, there's just no power, it's just you're plugging into the wrong pins on this one. So if you're trying to charge a car off a TT P30, uh, I mean, dash 30P connector that you have in someone's home, or a generator or some kind of other device that has this connector right here. And if you wanna charge a car, then you have to use this one. But if you just wanna charge or uh, power like an RV or any other thing that has just 120 circuits or whatever, then this is the connector you have. But they are not interchangeable. Uh, can, you, can you use this? Yeah, you can use this for something else, like maybe running any device that can handle both 120 and 220 but it's it's smart enough to know the difference and switch automatically or even with the switch some of the devices have like a switch that you can switch back and forth uh you can use this and then use the big connector but you know just it's going to be the wrong voltage with the wrong type of connector but as long as you know that right and in this case it's not so dangerous because you're using half voltage instead of twice the voltage where, where to do the other way around, uh, it's fine. So that's, those are the differences between these two. I hope this is, you can understand that. <laughs> it's not too confusing, but there you go. That's how these are connected. That's, that's how these are wired in there and you can understand the differences between the two. And one, why one only works on with the EVs and other devices that are looking for, uh, 120 and 220 but in the same pins uh and then this is kind of built for rvs all right thank you for this video we'll see you guys on the next one bye